Hello YouTube and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim modded with Steven the Imperial. <laughs> he just kills people for lucky fun. And uh we lost our horse. Yeah, we lost our horse. Yeah, we stole it though, so can't really can't really say it's lost. But uh yeah, what we are going to do is harvest some mountain flowers and then we're gonna head over to Windhelm. Because I've been hearing a couple weird rumors about uh, about a uh, kid doing the Black Sacrament. And it definitely can't turn into the Dark Brotherhood quest line. <laughs> Probably will. So, uh, we're just going to head on over there and check everything out. Uh, right now, I actually uh, don't have any... EMBs or anything running because I am terrible with those and I feel like they'll make my computer run even worse than it already does even though we can run Skyrim on Ultra fine I'm pretty sure it runs 60 frames I don't know I haven't had actually checked but it looks like 60 frames right now I'm running it on high and uh don't know how many frames I'm getting So we're going to just uh, ride on into the sunset, but the mods I have enabled are just basically mostly quest mods. Uh, I have immersive armors and immersive weapons installed, uh, and that's basically kind of it. We're going to do be doing a whole ton of quest mods. I've never really played through any quest mod on a on the Nexus besides Helgen Reborn. And I was thinking of maybe doing that first, but um, you know, like, we gotta kill this person first. Uh, you know, I was thinking like, you know what? Probably should save that for the end, cause. Oh, okay, that didn't end anything. Because, uh, it seems more like an ending kind of thing. Not like an ending of the series kind of thing, but like a after the main quest kind of quest. Because you're finally rebuilding Helgen after the dragon attack. And it kind of fits, I guess. But it could fit anywhere, really. That's, uh, that's what she said. That's why my axe at her. Wait, is there someone? Oh yeah, there's definitely a couple of people behind me. Obviously, you can tell. Playing on the death. And I'm... Oh god, <laughs> look at that guy's leg. Oh my god, that was... That was really painful looking. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that actually. I probably should get down from here. Don't want to get killed and get my leg snapped with that war. But what was I talking about? Something about Helgen Reborn. It being like a final kind of thing after the main quest. Oh, God, I'm retarded. I think I might. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Yeah, I just checked. I'm mentally retarded. So we're just gonna skip that, pretend it never happened. And we're going to. If I can get out of the water. God, are there a bunch of rocks under there or something? I keep bumping into. But I'm going to, uh, just. I think I'm going to make these uh, episodes longer than usual because Skyrim is a big game. Even though I honestly think longer episodes mean less views. And I don't get many to begin with. Please pity me. But yeah, oh well. We're going, well since you guys probably already know by now. We're going to be doing the Dark Brotherhood quest line first. Even though I just 
finished it on my, uh, my playthrough that I didn't record. Am I even going the right way? Oh, uh, yeah, I am. And, uh, we're going to try to walk as many places as we can instead of fast traveling because, uh, fast traveling kind of cuts out the fun and you don't get as many dragon spawns because you don't travel, like, around as much. We're just gonna see if these guys have anything yet. Uh, and I can do this because I'm Dragon One, and they don't care. See, like them. God. Yeah, I thought he was actually gonna attack me. Oh God, no, 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 no. No. I didn't even do anything to them. Is he? Yeah, he's gone. Dovey King, Dovey King, that's what I heard name. Okay, so there's some, ooh, some nice weapons here. Not weapons, armor. Same thing, really. And while I really, really like the cultist mask and stuff and how it looks, it's extremely weak, I think. 23. Let's see what that helmet was. Oh, 23, huh? You can just sell that then. What about the gloves? Oh, they do nothing for me. Alright. Skip the mask then. And I don't have a one-handed weapon and I don't like maces, so I'm not going to grab that shield. So, uh, yeah, how have you guys been doing? I've been doing great. Just, uh, just as soon as we get some followers. Oh, I forgot Lydia. Yeah, oh well. As soon as we get some followers, this uh, this will be a little more interesting. And I don't know if I'm just going to make them all essential or not. Probably will. Because I have a UFO installed. Which is the best uh, follower overhaul. If none of you knew that. Look at this water. Just so beautiful. The vanilla Skyrim water. Mm. Mara's eye pond. What's so special about this? Is it a dungeon or something? There's a large sack here. Oh, and there's a mud crab. I was about to say mud kip. God. I'm probably also going to uh, cut out some of the more boring parts of me just walking and not saying anything. You know what, I'm gonna actually go into this cave up here, whatever this is. I don't care what it is, I'm just gonna go into it. And uh, I'm not gonna have Frostfall or realistic needs and diseases installed because, like I said before, I'm not doing any roleplay, uh, let's play. Because there's way too many of those already. Oh, look at this guy. He has like a sixth sense for people that are about to kill him. Oh, and he has a, a sword, so I can use that because I hate two-handed weapons. Oh, you will... Oh, you will show no mercy, huh? I wish I could have decapitated you. Eleven... What are these? Steel Sword 12. Yep, definitely taking that. Gonna take his shield and just put these items on. Probably need a favorite some of these bows and stuff. Get it all ready. Wait, why? thought I put on the shield. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready. Is this the cave? I guess. Uttering Hills Caves, or Uttering Hills Caves. Who knows? It's just that this place is utterly too cold. <laughs> oh, God. Suicide's my only option. So yeah, uh, 
these dungeons are. Well, you know, it's something I don't like. Never should have come here. About uh, Skyrim, well, at least vanilla Skyrim. But the dungeons, like, well, not all of them, but the Falmore ones and the Dwemer ones. Oh my god, I hate this so much. And I'm sure a lot of people do. Like, I don't know, I think I look better without the shield. Even though it gives me more uh, protection. I just hate them because they're so, so long. Oh, I'm going to be building up my health quite a bit. I'm going to wait to use that perk for later. But the Dwemer and Falmore dungeons, oh god, those are the worst. And I know there's two extremely long dungeons that um are in the main quest line. Gonna try and take these guys out. I don't know if the depth is too easy. I mean the dragons, well these guys are bayonets, so they should be easy, right? Like, but the dragons are gonna be kind of difficult. Maybe. I don't know, I'm mentally retarded, so the difficulty kind of, um... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. The difficulty varies, I guess. Huh? Is this just going to the entrance again? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're just going to see what's over here. I doubt there's a word of power in here. Someone already opened the door for me. Thank you, Bandit. Your, uh, your life was really worth it. Opening that door and such. You probably should have just ran. Oh crap, I've been in this dungeon before. I remember it. Oh, and I'm not very good at lock, lock picking. <clears throat> You're gonna have to get used to that. God damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Guarantees like seven gold. Actually, it's kind of worth it. I always collect soul gems because they're pretty uh, worthwhile. Oh god, gonna take this guy out first so I don't have to get hit by two people at once. Oh, never mind. The game's gonna take care of that for me. Make sure I get hit by two people at once. God, I probably shouldn't be doing this bad. God, no, 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 don't let me die in this. Come on. Oh god. What even is that? Is that just a big stick? What are you doing? It sounds like a sword, but it's not. What is that? A quarter staff. Wow. Pretty sure uh, my cousin has a dollar staff. <laughs> Still Katana. I'm going to uh, use this instead because I want to. It's worth more and I want to protect my waifus. Uh, just take all the gold. I can sell for quite a bit. By quite a bit, it's probably only like 50 gold. Oh well. Screw your dinner. Brief invisibility. There's not a whole lot in here. Oh, I thought there was a lever. I'm seeing things. I think I don't have to worry about anyone else. Because I think this right here is the end of the dungeon. Like those have just opened all these cells and in my last playthrough uh, they didn't do anything. So yeah, that's that's interesting. We just took it our first uh, bandit camp thing. 
And then we're going to assassinate people. Because that's just the kind of people we are. We just like to murder people. It's the only way we can get our rocks off. So what are you guys doing? Just sleeping? I didn't take your gold. I like your cape, I'm gonna take that. Actually no, it's, it's just regular black linen. It's garbage. I want like a cool cape that like has an emblem on it like I don't know. A bear or something, something ferocious. Like a dragon. Kinda like the Empire's capes. Oh and I will be if I do the uh Civil War quest line, I will be joining the Imperials because the Stormcloaks are a bunch of wasted well, wasted. Yeah, they're a bunch of wasted. They're a bunch of wasted uh and I said it again. Holy shit. You know, I actually did at one point think I wasn't retarded. And then I realized that that was completely wrong. And I probably should have gotten checked out when I was born. But uh, they're racist bastards. That's what they are. Talking about that, what about that Game of Thrones, right? Those four episodes leaking. You know, uh, I honestly think that, well, I mean, it probably wasn't, but who knows. Only four episodes leaking at once, that's kind of weird. Like, why didn't all of the episodes leak, or just one of them leak? Why only four? Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh man, conspiracies and all, dude. Uh, the government's brainwashing your brain, bruh. But, um, like, I feel like it might have been possibly a controlled leak. Because just four episodes, I'm pretty sure they were already done with filming. So they should have had all the episodes ready. Why would only four of them be uploaded? I'm not complaining, but, like, that old oh man I didn't get to watch all, all 12, 13 episodes. But I'm just saying that it's kind of weird that only four came out instead of one of them or just all of them or just a glitchy bridge. So, uh, I, I'm hoping I can actually do the Black Sacrament thing. We can become elite assassins. We can just slit everyone's throat that gets in our way. We can actually be a cutthroat. So, ooh, when Helm Stables discovered. We yeah, have quite the adventure here. Oh, and a courier. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's, Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. Looks like that's it. Got to go. A friend of mine. I don't have any friends. <laughs> okay, letter from a friend. All right. Okay. I caused quite a bit of a stir in Casterly Rock. Yeah, not everyone's excited for the Dragonborn. Yeah, that's like one of your first shouts you're supposed to get or something, I don't know. Watch this, watch this, this guy's gonna be, his mind's about to be blown. Oh! See, look at that, look at that. I got him. Got him, coach. Got him. Look at that helmet right there. Uh, that, that's what a guard looks like. They're all like, oh man, I got this Darth Vader mask. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. Yeah. And you refuse to help the storm Jew. But So let's, uh, let's find... I don't know what his name is. I know it starts with the name. It's extremely hard to pronounce. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Arantino is doing... Yeah, Arantino. Oh, I'm sure this is extremely illegal. So I'm just going to save right quick. 
Oh, that was extremely easy. Now I'm gonna murder this child. I don't actually have killable children on. It should. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in the blood of the fear. Actually, I think this kid would probably kill me. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins Dude, of the unworthy Dude, if you never came here, would he just be doing this like fear. all, like, the time you're sweet mother, not here? Sweet mother, send your child Is that unto me for the sins of the unworthy Dude, that shame in the leader's not even moving. That's a shadow moving. Sweet the mother, fuck? sweet mother, send your child unto me for Did the Did the night mothers control in this house? In blood and fear. <laughs> oh, I scared you, didn't I? Bro, you old crone, you'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. <laughs> you playing five finger play so with this skeleton? Very tired. Man. <laughs> sweet mother, Dude, sweet look at these! Mother, look at this guy's fingers. Oh my God! Blood. What kind of person was this to have that long of fingers? Sweet what the mother, hell? Sweet mother, Dude, and they basically had no palm. Dude, is that what his skeleton hand supposed to look like? I don't think so. Because of something. Dude, I'm. No, I don't think that's what it's supposed to look like. That's weird. So, uh, what you talking about, kid? Oh yeah, <laughs> your mom told me that. It worked. I knew you'd come. I just knew it. <laughs> yeah, your mom. I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. Yeah, and I can. You came can tell. An where's where's from the, the skull go? Uh, yeah, you're missing the skull. That's probably why they didn't come. Yes, of course, the black sacrament. It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Yeah, sure. Why not? My mother, she... She died. Yeah, she, from a dick. I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Rifton. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an... Honor Hall! Woman. <laughs> they call her Grella the Kind. Honor she's Hall! She's kind. She's terrible to all of us! <laughs> so I ran okay. away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here. And you could kill Grawlog the Kind! Oh, fuck yeah. Why wouldn't I? I mean, obviously I'm a murderer. Sorry. No, seriously, yes, I am. I'm kind of Have you seen here. my mask? As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, like, I'm gonna kill her, here. like, in front of the kids. I'm not gonna do it in secret. I s I'll kill her in kill front of everyone. Show. She really is kind. He never existed. I can't do the, um... What's this? Can't do the Twilight Zone music. Zero sympathies for your mother. For the death of your mother, Natalia. I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, because you are fatherless and have no other relations, the Yarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Rifton. Ooh. Oh, it's in Rifton? We're gonna take a ride to Rifton, nigga. Um, I'm probably gonna censor that because people are too sensitive. Uh, where you, you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Arantino family home in the city of Wenhelm will of course remain your property. No, it won't. Unless he is... No, he's an Imperial, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, they're going to take that away from you. The building will be securely locked and... Oh, it's, it's not securely locked. And remain for your return six years hence. So he's ten years old. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother or if you possess the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will come, will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully, his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, your lift, steward to, your, to our most noble Jarl, Ulfric Stormcloak. Wow. 
I'm gonna take that. So this is mom. Oh, there's the skull. I'm gonna take this book too. And the human heart, because those are useful later on if you want to do alchemy, I guess. But yeah, cool setup you have there, kid. So we're going to go on to Riften. In the next episode. See you guys.